Hi, so this is Sh Shivam once again. Uh, so this is going to be a video where I talk about what my future of the YouTube channel is going to look like. I'm going to tell you about a lot of exciting things I'm going to start on the channel and also, you know, give you a bit of an explanation in terms of live updates as to why I was inactive on YouTube and I was not posting. I have received a lot of beautiful comments from you. I have received a lot of problem suggestions, which I'm going to cover. However, uh, to start first thing first, I just want to go through uh, my life updates. So as it turns out, uh, when I started my YouTube channel, I just come back from Cambridge after writing my bachelor's thesis to India. And I was, uh, I was just uploading videos on problems which I loved from Lead Code. Uh, and usually my problems were from the lead code hard category. I think that's the only type of problems I've uploaded. And I uh, wish to continue that. But after that, I had my life happened. Actually, I started graduate school at Carnegie Mellon University in the US. Uh, I completed my master's and between my master's, I did an internship with Adobe Research as a machine learning software engineer. And beyond my graduation, I received multiple offers, uh, but finally decided to go to Google as a software engineer machine learning, where I am currently uh, at. I currently work at Google. I work in the Mountain View headquarters. I work in the Google Plex. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm so fortunate to be working here with a lot of really, really smart people and some fantastic engineers. So, uh, so in between all of these things, there was a lot of like back and moving from India to the US. There's a lot of things like a master's degree. There's a lot of toiling uh, and settling down. But I think now I'm at a position, uh, you know, about six months into my job at Google, where I think I can produce content and I can produce content like what I always wanted to produce. And with that, I'd really want to talk about the future of the channel and what I want to do. So. My personal experience with YouTube has always been that if you search for something on YouTube, you generally get it. If you search for a tutorial on YouTube, you generally get it. Like if you say, how do I code in C++, there'll be 100 people talking about basic programming in C++, right? And so far, so good. You can learn basic programming. There are excellent people. I cannot recommend you enough. Same is with competitive programming. Same is with any field. You get to know basics of everything uh, you can uh, you you have and there is this also some channels which cover intermediate stuff about things but you know it's it's really difficult to get attention of and get a lot of users which platforms like youtube would really promote a lot of users to pay the attention to the videos for uh, you know for intermediate level stuff like there are very few people who are interested in learning something at an intermediate level right however there is a lack of content there so you started, let's say you started a coding journey, you know, basic programming languages. Now you want to delve, dive, dive deeper into, uh, you know, some programming language. Let's say you're doing competitive programming, you've been doing algorithms and uh, data structures and algorithms, and you want to dive uh, deeper into uh, th those concepts. You want to learn advanced data structures. Maybe you've done advanced data structures. You want to do even something more fancy. Uh, you want to look at more cutting edge stuff on data structures. All those content is not covered on YouTube. It is incredibly difficult to find. And it is because the way the platform works. However, this channel I feel is now going to be dedicated to just that. So I started out this channel with no monetary or no uh, no viewership intention in mind. My goal to this channel is two things: helping as many people as I can by have, by posting inter intermediate to advanced level you know coding questions, looking at concepts, trying to explain algorithms. So that is one thing. Second. It's, it's basically for me to share the problems I love to the world. And I feel in the in, in that, if I am able to give you good value, if I'm able to cover concepts which are intermediate and which are advanced, which you don't find in other YouTube videos, I think that is what creates value. I personally don't want to create value for myself in terms of the monetary gain or views. I want to create value for you all, right? So there is, I am definitely looking for suggestions of what do you want to learn at intermediate to advanced level in computer science. Like this is going to be a computer science channel. I might cover some math as well, but it is going to be focused on intermediate to advanced level stuff, right? So I'm going to definitely cover a lot of lead code hard problems. Uh, two other important projects I'm going to undertake in this channel and you can be subscribed for it if uh, you are interested is one talking about project Euler. 
like i have solved about uh, around 500 problems on project oiler i was always i throughout my high school years and undergrad years i ranked in the top 10 for project oiler plus on hackerang from india and i've always been in the top 100 in the world for hackerang uh, for project oiler so i believe the platform project oiler if you've not heard of it it's a really good platform go check it out i want to cover the first 100 problems of project oiler which actually are open for discussion you can discuss those problems to the world cover all the concepts cover all the techniques and have 100 videos for those 100 concepts where i cover algorithms where i cover you know, mathematical ideas to actually you can just explore sit down and talk about those problems the second interesting i uh, second interesting um, you know thing which i want is to basically tackle the contest programming so not programming which is for jobs and interviews because there are a lot of fun, fantastic YouTube channels which are dedicated for that, you know, questions for, you know, jobs for software engineering roles where you, there is, there's a lot of ground to cover in that. But I feel there is an intermediate to advanced, there's an advanced level of programming that goes beyond jobs, which where, where the contests come into picture, there are like World ACM, I, I, you know, ICM, ICPC, there is IOI for high school students, there's so many other contests you'd want to have, there is Code Jam from our side at Google, uh, so there is there is a lot of such contests and for that the level and the training that is required for uh, for competitive coders is actually quite different than what is required for jobs because jobs it's much more simpler it's easy to medium uh, level of questions but in here you want to learn advanced number theory I, you don't want to do advanced number theory you want to learn some advanced algorithms you want to talk about a lot of techniques you want to do a lot of brainstorming i want to start an entire session where I deep dive into proper contest based competitive coding where I cover a lot of really really good advanced questions and if somebody wants to train for AC, you know ICM, IC, AC, ACM, ICPC want to train for code jam all of those tough contests I feel that uh, I want to make a platform that irrespective of what college you come from irrespective of what background you come from if you understand plain English I'm gonna cover uh, completely from you know, from the inter from the intermediate level to the complete advanced level, where you just come to me as somebody who has a basic understanding of code programming and competitive coding, till actually covering all the concepts I feel with my experience. I've been in the coding field for many years now, with my experience with um, with the with the contests. So these are the two important projects I want to take. Of course, I'm going to continue posting uh, lead code hard problems and generally good problems I like. Uh, and you always have been like you can always add things in the comment section of what you would want to learn what problem do you want me to solve i'm going to do that however there's this one uh the, this is, these are two projects which i feel are very important and which are going to be there in the, in the channel if you feel that there's something else I, I should add or some other big project i should be working on uh definitely please comment in the comment section i want to scope it out i don't want to see uh, it's going to be a journey so if any of you is interested or if any of you around you in your university anywhere is going to be interested in content like this i'm going to start turning out videos i've already produced a few uh, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video thank you